welcome back to a tutorial that we're building on from our Cinema 4D tutorial where we built a model properly so that it would come into Unreal or Twin Motion or even Unity to get rid of that light leak that you see and so we can start building our scene. Uh, so what I did was one last step, I added a little bit of thickness to my ceiling uh, just by doing the same thing, just extruding a little bit because I realized I might get some light leak in the corner of my walls if I didn't do that. Um, and when I export it as an FBX, just make sure that when you do that, you don't need your camera and your lights, but everything else can stay default and just export it as a 7.5 FBX from Cinema 4D. So I'm in twin motion now. Um, it's very similar to Unreal. It's just much more catered to quick ArcViz. Uh, generation and doing it in real time. So let's go ahead and import this model that I have on my desktop. And under options, we're going to keep hierarchy and we're just going to go ahead and fix the UV texture. And we'll use scene material because it doesn't really matter. And there's our model and it's not looking too good, but don't worry about it. We're going to fix all of this with our materials. So first things first, let's get rid of that little problem we see on the balcony where one of those railings is missing. And I'm just gonna add a wood material to it. And the simple fix is just making it two-sided. So there we go, very quickly I have a two-sided material that is making a nice uh, railing here on my balcony. Uh, let's jump inside. Now I didn't finish the other window because I'm kind of just doing this in haste to show you how it works, but um, inside we can grab now a reflective glass, which will also make two-sided. And then in the case of the balcony here, I have all my objects stored in my hierarchy, so I could just get rid of it and have just a nice walkway out to my balcony. Um, or I could just add a nice reflective glass and give it this big modern looking window. Um, and we would have added more detail to make it look like a sliding door, but for now we'll just leave it as is. Um, obviously we're not looking at much of a floor here, so let's go ahead and find a nice wood that we can use as the floor might have to depending on how your UVs are set up just jump around the model a little bit and make sure that we're making everything two-sided so that it works um, cool so we've got the wood flooring done let's go ahead and fix this interior by uh, just creating a wall covering we're gonna go with something really basic just a rough cast coating or maybe just like this kind of brushed metal look um, I've got a little bit of a mesh problem there, but we're going to fix that in a second when we fix the ceiling. So the same thing here, let's make it two-sided. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab just maybe a plaster coating that we're going to add to the ceiling. Again, we're going to jump outside and toss this on the ceiling. And let's make it two-sided and let's see if that fixed our little mesh problem. And sure enough, it did. And as you'll notice, the biggest thing here is we don't have any light leaking in anywhere inside of our building, which is great. Um, let's jump outside here and continue finishing up our materials. I'm gonna have a wood deck, but I'm gonna have it be a little different than we had. Let's just go something like that. Maybe scale it down a little bit. And then for the posts, we could use maybe another type of wood or we could use like a concrete if you wanted to just add that to uh, our posts. And if we want, we can change the color to something that's like darker, rougher, less reflective. Not going for too much crazy good looks here yet. And then on my frames, I'm gonna just come in here, just add like a base concrete that I'm going to color just straight black, because I don't need Oops, and I gotta make sure that I'm doing two-sided. And the same thing on the window that uh, I just created, the only window that I created. Let's go ahead and add that there, and we'll do the same thing. We'll bring the color down so that you see. I've got my nice window frame, my modern window frame, my balcony. It's all set up. So if we wanna add some kind of cool visual out here, uh, maybe we wanna have a, you know, beach look or something like that. There's some pretty simple cool stuff we can do uh, just by jumping into our lighting effects. Uh, let's see, under weather I believe. We can just enable something cool here which is just like the ocean. 
which uh, we can change the height of it, make it go down, but we're going to have to mess with the floor a little bit. So we want this to be positive, and let's make it something like a nice tropical sea color. Let's see what we got. We're going to jump outside and just grab the whole model and drag it up above the seawater so it kind of has this look now. Maybe you're in Miami and you're looking across the bay or something like that. Um, but we can also change the background. We could do something like the, uh, let's see. Well, first we'll add a little smog to make it a little bit more realistic. Um, and the location. You can pick an exact location, but I'm just really worried about changing the background view. So I'm just gonna do none. And that really gives it a nice off into the ocean. Maybe you're looking off the coast of Jamaica, something that we're all dreaming about right now. Um, and I like what, I'm, what my light's doing. I'm gonna add like a little bit more smog to kind of haze out that horizon, simulate salt in the air. Um, so yeah, we've got now a pretty cool setup where we can really start to take this to the next level. Uh, there's all sorts of objects over here that we can grab. So let's say I want to grab something along the lines of a uh, object. We could do a home living room and let's go with just a basic sofa and it should orientate itself and we'll put this back here against the base wall so now we've got a couch set up let's grab a table uh, just something kind of simple but artistic how about like the scarlet look here and then I'll just bring this down to the floor and drag it over All right, cool. So we've got a little bit of a living room look. And for the deck, uh, we could do some cool stuff, like maybe add some plants. Um, I'll just grab maybe like, I know there's some nice orange trees in here. We could add these out here somewhere. It doesn't like it because it doesn't want to go through the glass. Let's go out here. That's pretty close. And bring that down to the floor. If I hold down shift, I can drag this out and hit OK and put this in the other corner of my balcony. So now I've got a nice little plant set up there. Maybe I'll just take down my balcony glass for now so I can back up and get more of a big full look out onto my deck. And let's just go for something dramatic here. I'm going to change the daylight time to something later so we get a nice ocean look here with those beautiful colors and everything like that so very quickly um, I've created a useful room I obviously did not go to the detail that I would normally go to to finish this but um, hopefully giving you the gist of how this workflow works um, we've got a start to our living room uh, you'll notice there's a small amount of light leak here and that can be fixed the same way we fix the ceiling just by giving it a little bit of extrusion depth once you've done a good job of separating out all of the different items from over here in our hierarchy. Um, so we could have just, maybe we can even do it in here. No, we can't do it. Um, but we would have done it over in Cinema 4D and that would have created no light leak there just by giving it a little bit of thickness. But this has just been a tutorial to show you how to get it in properly, tell you exactly what you're doing wrong if you're seeing that light leak, and show you how easy it is to work between these two programs. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.